I'm gonna love you What up guys? Today you're here with that diabetic guy, Vaughn, and I'm going to show you everything that you guys need to know in order to escape from Jason. So if you guys are ready, let's go ahead, let's get started. There are three methods, the first being the car. The car involves three key items in order to be able to make the vehicle operational. You have the gas, the battery, and the keys. These can be found across the map inside of houses and barns. Keys will be located inside of drawers found in houses. The gas and battery can be inside of any house or barns and can be on the ground or boxes. Once you have installed both the gas and the battery, the person with the keys will be able to start the car, making it operational. Depending on the color of the car tells you how many people it can fit inside. If it is the blue car, this is a four door, which seats up to four counselors. If it is the yellow car, this is a two door, which seats up to only two counselors. If you are able to start the car, you are going to want to make your way to one of two exits. Each map is different, so the exit locations will be different as well. The only thing that stays the same is both exits will be found on opposite sides of the map to each other. The only way the car can be stopped once it is started is A, if you've crashed into any objects such as trees and rocks, or you drive straight into Jason. Don't worry though, you can restart the car at this point and continue driving. B. It started. If you hit a bump or a snag on the road or off-road and flip the car, <gasps> this God. will result in totaling the car that? and you will be unable God, to restart it again. C. If Jason manages to get beside the driver's side window and successfully pulls the driver out, the car will stall. So when the next person gets into the driver's seat, they will be prompted to ignite the engine all over again. Lastly, D, if Jason manages to morph in front of the car, he can quickly push A, Hulk smashing the hood of the car and disabling the engine until restarted. If you manage to finally make it to one of the exits, you simply drive off into the foggy distance ahead and you have successfully escaped. One tip, once the car is started by the person who had the keys, Anybody can now drive or restart the stalled car. Moving on, the boat involves two key items, which is one less trinket than the car, but can only hold up to two people maximum. For the boat, you have the gasoline and the propeller. You already know where to find the gas, but propellers are very tiny and easy to miss, so keep a lookout on top of any tables you come across, as this is where they are hiding. The propeller and the gas can be installed in any order, and once installed, anyone can enter the driving position and start the boat. There is only one exit for the boat. There is a break in the water on the map where the orange outline doesn't meet together and shows an opening in the water. This indicates the passageway you need to travel through. Once the boat has started, there is only one way it can be stopped. If Jason gets underneath of the boat and capsizes it, it flips you and whoever else is in the boat into the water, virtually making you sitting ducks. The cops involves only one item, but requires a two-part process. You first need to find the phone keys, which can be located inside of any dresser drawer around the map. Once you have this fuse, you need to locate the fuse box, which will be on the outside of a cabin. This particular cabin will have a phone inside, which is used to call the police. You approach the red sparking fuse box and begin the minigame to install the fuse. You are successful once the box yields a blue glow. This is part one complete. In order to execute part two, you must find the phone inside of the cabin and finish the call process. You need to there are three ways to have the process interrupted. One is if Jason disables the power to the area. The phone will not have any dial tone and you will be allowed to make the call. 
Number two is if Jason disables the fuse box, it resets it. This means you'll have to replay the minigame before you can proceed to make the call. Third is if Jason hits or grabs you while dialing on out on the phone, this will cancel the process and you will have to pick up the phone and start all over. If you do accomplish calling the police, a five minute timer will begin. You will be expected to survive for the full five minute duration before the cops arrive on the scene. When they arrive, it will be on one of two locations on the map. Need to get every last here, motherfucking cop out here or here. Crystal Lake. Uh, you will have to travel Jason by foot to whichever location they show up at and run through it's to Jason, them in order back. to escape. Tip 1. When attempting to start either the boat or car, consider using your firecrackers before entering the driver's seat. The duration of this firecracker gives you some protection against Jason trying to sabotage your getaway. If he were to proceed to the front door or directly to the boat, he would become stunned. Tip 2. If Jason is nearby trying to stop you, consider having someone stun him with a weapon while you get into the driver's seat and start the vehicle. This gives you even more time to get the engine running and creates get more up, opportunity Jason. to meet up and Find pick up them. other counselors. Playing solo versus with friends. When you're playing with friends, it helps to communicate where parts are and strategize where to meet up. This makes how you're going to approach installing items a lot more effective than going solo, which increases your odds of survivability. When playing solo, you're going to do things a bit differently. Yeah, you can communicate with people and try and orchestrate plans, but what you can also do to ensure your safety is, if you find a part, consider bringing it to a location nearby the vehicle and stashing it instead of installing it right away. This way, when counselors look at the map, they still see nothing is installed on that vehicle, and you don't have to worry about others having the remaining parts, installing them, and leaving you behind. Now, you can install it when you are ready. Just don't be one of those guys that says nothing and dies without telling anyone where you put the part. Try and help others out. If you're about to die, tell them where you hid the part at least. Alright guys, so just to do a quick recap before we end this segment, uh, there are three ways to escape. Uh, the car, boat, and uh, the cops. You now know where to find the required parts, how to install them, and how to use each method to escape. Use this tutorial and apply these tips to your gameplay and this will 100% improve your counselor game. So that's it for today guys. This uh, should help all y'all and uh, if it did that's great. Uh, I have more videos coming in the future. I'm trying to drop at least two to three a week so be tuned until the next time. It's that diabetic guy Vaughn. Deuces! Use some more. Look on the map for the telephone symbol and go ahead and teleport to it. Okay, now that you're here, you're going to want to find the fuse box on the outside of the cabin and go in red and walk up to the cabin and place the bear trap in front of it so that you can get caught and have a map where they are exactly on the map.